Okay, so today we are going to make our egg rolls in the Ninja Foodie Air Crisp setting. Sorry that I had to think about it. My brain kind of froze. And so what we're going to need for this recipe is a bag of your coleslaw blend. You can chop up your own cabbage and stuff. I'm just going to go the easier way um, and just get uh, already pre-cut. You're also going to need some shrimp. Now, if you do not want to have shrimp egg rolls, it's fine. You can make pork egg rolls. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to chop up the shrimp because we're gonna wanna have like some shrimp in every bite. So I'm gonna use about nine shrimp because I am reserving the rest of the shrimp in the bowl uh, for some shrimp fried rice. Now you can catch that in a separate video. I'll make sure to um, put it in the description card if you know if it goes up before this video if not just hit that notification bell so that you can stay alerted to whenever I upload new recipes and new content here on my channel all right so I'm just gonna go ahead you don't have to chop them up really well you're just gonna want to do about nine or twelve of these shrimp I'm gonna make uh, six egg rolls two for each I'm pretty sure that we're gonna want to have uh, an egg roll for tonight and possibly one for lunch tomorrow because um, that's the way that we do it here and so I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up now before chopping them up you want to make sure that you peel clean and devein your shrimp properly and so this is about nine shrimp and that's about it because the rest is gonna be for my shrimp fried rice and I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to season uh, a little bit, not too much because you don't want it to be too salty. But let's move on over to the stove. Okay, so you are going to want to use a little bit of sesame oil. And remember, a little bit because sesame oil can be a little overpowering. So you don't want to use too much. Okay. Um, and you're also going to want to use some bean sprout. If that's your you know if you like bean sprouts if you don't you can omit them as optional um but because i'm using some of it for my rice i am going to use them for my egg oil. so you're going to want to this is for the stuffing and i just love cabbage there are so many ways that you can use cabbage um so delicious I just love it all right so we are gonna go ahead and cook that you can also add a little bit of um, garlic so I'm gonna use my garlic paste and you can add a little bit of soy sauce, just so it can give it some flavor. Not a lot. I'm going to use some um, chili sauce for the seasoning. I'm going to get some flavor in there. And so you're just going to want to saute this. And then you're also going to want to cook your shrimp. So shrimp cook really easy. And so while this is roasting on the side, I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love shrimp. Can you tell? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and add some of our bean sprouts. And I'm adding it to the filling of the 
egg roll because I'm not going to use the whole pan on the rice. So for it not to go to waste, I'm adding it to, I'm adding it in here as well. So we're just going to allow this to cook. You see how fast the, the shrimp is turning pink? It cooks really fairly. So once they cook through, you can toss everything together. You do not need to add salt because the soy sauce is enough salt. Okay, so you can taste it. Um, and if you feel like it needs a little more salt, you can also add onions to this if you want. I'm not going to add onions to it because I'm going to add onion to the rice. And I don't like, like, you know, to have so many onions on everything. So we're going to continue to cook this through. And then I will be back once I am ready. Once it is ready. And I can add it to... And make to assemble the egg roll. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to use these Twin Dragon egg roll wrappers for my egg rolls. And we're also going to need a bowl of, of eggs scrambled so that we can use it as a sealer for the egg rolls. All right, so let's start off with our first egg roll wrap. There's two of them in here. There we go. So you want to leave the floured side down and the clear side. Okay, that's how you are going to want to stuff your egg roll. All right, so let's get this popping. All right, how are we going to do this? Okay, a lot of practice. We're going to take our egg wash and we're just going to brush the sides, all four sides. All right, that's going to use be used as a sealer. All right, and then we are going to stuff our egg roll, okay? I may need to add a little bit more of the cabbage because it shrinks as you cook it. These are so good. Okay. So we're gonna take the two ends right here and we're gonna close it in like this. And we're gonna make sure to pinch the sides. That's very important because that's what's gonna help to keep all of the filling locked and loaded inside. Then you're gonna take this right here and you're just going to put it there and then you're gonna roll it, gently roll it so that your wrap does not break and look how simple is that okay so this is ready for the air fryer i'm gonna do that again let's let's do that again so that you can make sure you follow me again you're gonna make sure the flower part of the wrap is on the downside you're gonna sh face or place your wrapper diamond shape you are going to take some egg wash and you are going to brush all four sides of the wrap. And I just, this is a very easy, simple recipe. Great snack, great for movie nights, great to go with dinner. Uh, I'm having an Asian themed dinner, so I'm going to have fried rice, shrimp fried rice, as well as some barbecue ribs. I'm going to make sure that I provide the uh, recipe video there for you to have okay really good so now we're gonna take the two ends and we're just gonna close this up but make sure 
that you have this all nice and neat in here, okay? Then we're gonna take the two ends and we're gonna seal both sides. That's important because that's what's gonna allow for the egg roll to remain closed. You're gonna bring this over and then you're just gonna roll it and there you have it. Look how pretty, look how pretty that is. Okay, so now I have two egg rolls, same size. You don't have to worry about, oh man, this egg roll's bigger than the other. And there you have it. So now it's time to use the Ninja Foodie. I'm gonna use my Air Crisp basket. Um, I'm gonna put it right in there. Now, before I do, I'm sorry, I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick butter spray. Because we don't want our egg rolls to get stuck in it. All right, so let's take you inside. All right, now we are gonna place our egg rolls in the basket. Now this is my first time using the air fryer. I was gonna deep fry the egg rolls, but I do not wanna use oil. I wanna steer away from the oil. So I was hoping that all of my egg rolls would fit and maybe I can fit this last one in there. I did. So you are gonna want to spray your egg rolls. Let me brighten this up for you, there you go. So you're gonna wanna spray your egg rolls with a non-cooking spray, make sure to cover them all. And then we're gonna close the lid. We're gonna make sure we turn this on. So we're gonna start, it's on. We're gonna do air crisp. We're gonna put it at 400 degrees. We're gonna bring it down to about, let's do 12 minutes. We're gonna check six minutes on one side, six minutes on the other. And we're gonna start. And that's how easy it is. We're gonna let it cook. Once it goes down to six minutes, I'll stop it just to check and flip them over so it can have uh, the even cooking on both sides. All right, look how beautiful they turned out. They are ready to be served. I'm gonna let them just cool off for a minute. I'm gonna serve them up and I'm gonna show you how I'll plate this. Um, so stay tuned. And there you have it. You can serve it up with duck sauce. I'm using sweet chili sauce and some soy sauce, and I'm calling it a day. Thank you so much for tuning in.